Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's the uh, middle of November 2012 uh, out here at the house. And I'm standing in front of the first vine trellis I ever built. And it really is a great example of how not to build a vine trellis. Now, as you can see here, this uh, one timber here uh, has uh, broken off uh, from its spot in the ground. And there are a couple of reasons this happened. First, instead of using heavily pressure treated 4x4s like I should have, I saved a few dollars in the construction of the vine trellis by using these landscaping timbers. However, after about uh, three years, uh, as you can see down here, the, uh, the bottom uh, started to decay a little bit and uh, it broke off. Second, I buried a portion of the landscaping timber underground, which kept it uh, moist uh, probably constantly, which helped speed up its decay. Third, I didn't include a good way of tensioning the wires. So when the wires started to sag, I had to take a pair of pliers and put kinks in the wires to take up some of the slack. This worked okay on uh, the wires that didn't have to uh, support a, a great deal of weight, uh, but the wires that uh, were supporting the heaviest loads uh, just ended up sagging a lot. Fourth, I put far too many wires uh, on these posts. I ended up stretching five heavy gauge wires between the two posts and only ended up ever really using two of them. Fifth, and probably worst of all, was that I didn't put any bracing on these posts to help them resist the pull of the wires. Uh, since the posts are uh, fairly close to each other, I could have uh, uh, put something rigid between the posts uh, to help uh, counterbalance the, uh, the pull, or I could have stretched wire from the, uh, the top of the, one of the posts uh, down to the ground and sunk something in down there, uh, but I didn't, and uh, as you can see, the, uh, the vine trellis has uh, self-destructed.